everybody's talking about cloud today. So the real question is, what is cloud, right? What is cloud computing? Well, think about the internet 20 years ago. It came along and it swept everything up from text to video to music to buying travel to buying books. The one thing it didn't really change was IT, right? The stuff that runs in your data center, honestly, it stayed in your data center. Well, now IT is at that critical moment. IT has finally hit the internet. Let me give you a metaphor. Basically, a private cloud is the beginning of letting you treat IT like a service. And what I mean by that is it's a way to take your data center today and turn it into a service provider to allow you to get your applications out to your users faster than ever before. You can, on demand, provide any application you want to all your end users. Your end users can, in fact, go on and pick the applications they want. They don't even have to work directly with you anymore because one of the things about private cloud is it gives you the ability to offer self-service. People can turn on workloads, turn off workloads, and they don't mess with your infrastructure. You know, a lot of people, when they talk cloud, all they're talking about is private cloud, right? But for Microsoft, we see private cloud as the first step towards building a cloud that actually allows you to go into the public cloud, which is what we call Windows Azure. With public cloud, the only thing you worry about are your applications. You pop them in, they're all over the world, they're taken care of, they run anywhere, accessible from anywhere. Like I said, just like the internet, IT has finally hit the internet. So, why would you pick Microsoft? Well, the reason you pick Microsoft is because we know it's not one or the other. It's going to be a combination of the two. And there's going to be times when you're going to run a workload in a private cloud, and you're going to want to move it to a public cloud, and you might want to even move it back. So what we've done is we've designed it so that your private cloud and your public cloud work like magic together. Whether that's being able to manage it from a single console so you can see all the applications running both in your private cloud and your public cloud, whether it's making it so the identity when you log in, you have access to all the cloud services, private and public, that you have the right to, or whether it's when you're developing new apps, you can run them in the private cloud or the public cloud. So as you think about cloud, and as you know it's coming, the critical thing is you need to think of not only where cloud is today, but where cloud's heading. And what we've done is made it so that the investments you make today will work for you in the future.